Hey, this will be a video chart on ticker symbol NTEK, and we will look at the daily time frame. First thing is first, congratulations to everybody. Uh, now, this is what a gap and run looks like. So, if you were looking through a textbook and went to the gap and run section, uh, you know, you could throw this chart right in there. I mean, it makes a great example of what you want to see that sort of pattern uh, act like. So, um, first off, these actions are second off. I first off was a congratulations. So second off, uh, all these lines here you see are from the video I did on Friday. So um, I, I point that out for two reasons. One, uh, we have done this before, and two, uh, this does a great job of showing the power of charts. So I'm not patting myself on the back here uh, because it's it's just strictly technical analysis. But if you look here, when the the price gapped up over all these resistances, which were these red lines and then it pulled back directly to 0.01 and as I'd marked out right here 0.01 was a resistance so a great job right there of a resistance turning into a support and then obviously the rest was history retested that and then closed right at the high of the day so just a great day overall so obviously the chart needs some updates first thing I want to do is just get rid of these support levels here I mean they are still support levels but there's just much more, uh, I, I guess, more important ones at this time. And this level is now technically no longer resistance but a support. But I'm going to get rid of those too because we just have so many other levels now we can focus on in terms of support. So first thing is first right here we need to change this to green because it is now a level of support. And I'm going to make that line extra thick because this is a pretty important level of support now. You don't want to see the price drop back below a penny. So one penny is the newest support level on the block and a very important one because you, know, you don't want to see it drop below a penny but technically if it did the chart still would remain bullish because you'd be above the 50 day but nobody wants to see it drop all the way down here in a sub penny so I'm just kind of disregarding that right now the other new level of support comes from all the way back here you can see a couple times the chart bounced right off this area so this was a resistance today but again since the price closed below it is now support and that is 0.015 so penny and a half is another level of support now that the charts uh, put, put in and those are going to be just the two levels of support ideally you'd like to see a penny and a half hold but if it doesn't you know you still do have plenty of other levels of support below you but if you were to ask me what would be the ideal level to see hold it would be 0.015 now for the fun stuff in terms of resistance levels, you know it's a good sign when you have to go all the way back here to, uh, you know June and August to, to figure out, or July and August, excuse me, where these levels of resistance are. So first one's going to be, and I'm just kind of eyeballing this one. There's some history, you know, some was above, some was below. So I'm just kind of trying to find a middle ground. But 0.025 will be the next level of resistance. And then the other reason I picked that is it does a good job of basically corresponding with this yellow line up here which is the 200 day simple moving average and you can see that's valued at 0.026 so whatever you want to call it 0 0.025 0 0.026 that's going to be the next key level of resistance um, and you know with this momentum going who knows maybe it'll retest it tomorrow or not retest but test it tomorrow um, or maybe we'll see some consolidation I don't know but uh, one thing's for sure this is exactly what you want to see in terms of a breakout from a pattern so uh, overall great looking chart great looking day if there are any other questions so please let me know if not I'd encourage you to sign up for our free newsletter up there, and as you'll see, you'll get a free ebook with your subscription. And if you enjoyed the video and want to learn more about charting, I'd encourage you to look down there and into our video course over eight and a half hours. It's been getting great reviews from third parties. So if you want to add a new uh, tool to your tool belt, uh, I'd encourage you to check out the trading course there. So once again, this was NTEK, and a big congrats to everybody.